Hi everyone and welcome back. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Lexi Jong and here I like to focus on luxury makeup. So today we are going to be doing my September repurchase review. And what that means is that I'm going to be going over the items that were featured on my channel this month and would I buy them again or no? And what are some other products that I have been reaching for a lot this month? So what are my current favorites? So let's go ahead and get started. First up, we have the Shantakai Fall Collection, and I love Shantakai. They are one of my favorite brands. I think the packaging on this eye trio is wonderful. It's metal. You've got this elephant on here. You know, you it's refillable, so you can use the you know holes in the back to punch out the pans and replace them with other shades. You've got a nice size mirror. It comes with a little brush. And these are the three eyeshadow shades. Now, these are some of that, is it like the satin lasting formula, I think it's called, but they sell them individually on their website or at some retailers as well, not in these colors, but in the same formula. And these are gonna be a very subtle eye look. They have a slight satin sheen to them, but they're very light, they're not, they're, they're one of those products that you kind of build the color up on, which, you know, for me, I think this particular trio, I think the color story would look better for somebody with different coloring than myself, somebody a little bit warmer in coloring. I think it's very nice, but it is not a favorite of mine. It would be a repurchase for me because I absolutely love the actual packaging and you know, I love the message that Shantakai has. Elephants are one of my favorites. So for that reason, I would purchase it again, but based solely on the actual eyeshadows in here, they would be a pass for me. Uh, they're not my colors. And honestly, I prefer other formulas from Shantakai. These are very, I don't mind soft, subtle eyeshadows, but these ones, they're just not my favorite. With the eye trio, there were three lip veils released. And I love all three of them. All three of them go to the Walk for Giants, uh, I, I believe, or is it the Sheldrick Wildlife Trust? Either way, they are going to support elephants, as is the eye trio. This first shade here is Tamarind, and it looks very brown in the tube, but when you look at the actual swatch, you can see there is a reddish tone to it, so it's not gonna be a 90s brown. And then we have Acacia here, which is more of a mulberry, like a, a deeper berry shade. And again, I think swatches online made it look much more brown, but it's really not. It's got more of like a brick red tone to it. And then last up, we have Plumeria, which is my favorite of the three. And this one is more of a rosy pink shade. And I love it. I actually, I love all three of the lip veils and I've been using them a lot. So they are definitely a repurchase for me. Now, they do have limited edition packaging. So these colored tubes are the limited edition portion of it, but the actual shades that are present inside the lipstick tubes will be repackaged in their traditional lip veil packaging at some point. So the actual colors won't go away. Now, out of these three, as I mentioned, Plumeria is my favorite, followed by Acacia, and then Tamarind. I have found though that Tamarind, I really like to, to mix this one. So I don't wear it straight up that often, but I love to pair it with like a, a rosy or gloss or something on top. And I just think it's beautiful. It's a great way to wear more of that brown lip without being you know, too brown because super brown doesn't work for me. <laughs> Next up, we have two of the Givenchy. These are the Le Rouge Deep Velvets. And this was, these were some of the first mattes that I've tried from Givenchy. This one here is number 38, Granat Fumé. And I really like this formula. I think it's a great formula. I love the, the case that it comes in. These are interchangeable. So if you want a different case, they do sell some separately now as well. And then this one here is Lanterdi, which is number 36. It's kind of like a classic bright red. And I love all of these. So yeah, I wanna get more of them. They are definitely a repurchase for me. And 
They are available at Sephora, so I would definitely recommend checking them out during the next Sephora sale, or Nordstrom has them as well. Next up, we have a couple of everyday items. We have the Gucci Brow Pencil, and this is in shade three, Chatin. And on one end, you have a very nice spoolie, and it's a substantial spoolie. It's, you know, it's stiff and it, it's not a wimpy spoolie. <laughs> so then on the other end, you have the pencil. This does come with a sharpener that matches. And this is interesting because it actually has a powder finish. And I have been loving it, so I have it in my brows today. I've been using it pretty much every day for my brows. I put this in, uh, run the spoolie through it, and then I top it off with the Surat. This is the, the brow gel. So it's a clear, I mean, it looks white in here, but it dries clear. And I just brushed this on top and I'm very happy with the combo. Another item is the Hourglass. This is the Veil Eye Primer. And I've been really enjoying this because it does seem to help with some longevity to my shadows. But the major thing that I like is that it doesn't feel drying on my eyes. It actually feels like you're putting on a moisturizer. So it's got more of a you know, thin, creamy feeling like a lotion, but it really does seem to help, you know, products adhere a little bit better. And I, yeah, I really like it. A couple more items I've been enjoying are the Natasha Denona Chromium shadows. So I have Scarab and I think this is just gorgeous. And this is green and gold. And I believe they say blue. I don't really see too much blue, but mostly green and gold in here, but it is a multi-chrome. And then the other one I have is Infra Nude. And I really like using these just like as a one and done eyeshadow, or sometimes I will buff like a matte shade into the crease and then put this all over. And I also really like using them as liners. So Infra Nude, you can see you've got a little bit of gold and some pink, and there's a tiny bit of green sure if you can really catch the green it doesn't show up too often but yeah i really have been enjoying those i'm very curious to try the sydney grace cream multi-chromes which to me this is what they reminded me of based on swatches when they first came out and i did just get those so i will feature those sometime in october a few more givenchy lipsticks these i picked up on the clearance section of sephora and these are the Lantre D, Rouge Lantre D lipsticks, and I picked up shades three, four, and five. They're all nudes like this. This one here is number four, Street Rose. And then the other two I picked up were Serial Nude and Urban Nude. This here is number three, Urban Nude. And you can see that one's just gonna be a bit peachier. It's at the, the top here. And then Urban Nude, I believe it, it's just a little bit more beige. I like all three of them. And these have become just ones that I like kind of keep all over and just apply whenever I want. So definitely a great purchase for me. I would repurchase these. I believe the formula might be getting reformulated and that's why they're on clearance. Another lip product that I've been using a lot is actually the Pat McGrath Lip Balm in Dark Romance. And look at that. So it's purple, you can build it up, but it does have a berry tint to it. So it's not like eggplant purple, it's more of a berry purple. And I just think it is gorgeous and I love it. It makes me think of the fall, so I've been wearing it quite a bit. I also picked up one of the Chantecai Luminescent Eyeshades in Mare. This is actually from, I wanna say 2018. And I mean, just look at this color. This is, I'm going to put this right here at the top of my wrist. That is just, it's stunning. So I love the finish. The luminescent eyeshades are one of my favorite eyeshadow formulas and this green in particular. I love green shadows and this is just, it's beautiful. So definitely a repurchase. A couple more items. I purchased the Rouge Coco lipstick in Adrian and this was kind of re-promoted with the fall collection, but I didn't pick it up at that time. And it's kind of just like a peachy nude shade. You can see it's actually a little similar. It's a little bit more orangey than the Urban Nude from the Givenchy, but they are similar. And I really like it. It's a great everyday one. So it is a repurchase. 
it's a repurchase for me. Next up, we have two of the limited edition packaging blushes from Chanel. We have Alizan, which is number 260, and 02 Rose Bronze. And I like these. They weren't exactly what I expected, but I do really like them. They're a little bit more shimmery than other Chanel blushes that I have. So they, they are a bit more shimmery than I thought, but I do really like them. This here is Alizan, and this is Rose Bronze. And I would definitely repurchase them again, but I think if I had picked between the two, I would prefer Rose Bronze over Alizan. And I think they're just, they're both really nice. And the shimmer though, just makes me think a little bit more summer. So I've been reaching more for some of my less shimmery blushes recently. So back in August, I had picked up the Suku Fall Collection, but I had limited myself to the cheek palette and one of the moisture rich lipsticks. And then I decided I wanted to get the eyeshadow palette. And when I had originally seen the promo photos from the eyeshadow palette, it just didn't really appeal to me, but I decided I wanted to pick it up after I saw some reviews on it and it just looked really pretty. So I picked it up and featured it in September here and I really like it. So the formula for these is fantastic. The colors are great and I think it is a great fall palette. So this is actually one that I've been reaching for a lot. And I think with these color variations, you can just get very creative with a bunch of different looks. You could pair this with some other shades and so forth as well, because these are all on the more shimmery side. They're, they're not matte. So you might want to pair them, but I like them just on their own as well. For the moisture rich lipsticks, I picked up the purpley one from the fall collection in August and I loved it. I loved the formula and the finish. So I wanted to pick up another one. I actually wanted to pick up both of them, but I haven't been able to get the lightest one. But this is the red one here and this is number 118. And you can see it's gonna be a warmer tone red, more of an orangey red, and there is gold sparkle in there. And I like it. So both of these items are a repurchase for me and I'm just really falling in love with the Suku brand. More eyeshadow from Chantecaille. This is one of the Chrome Luxe Eye Duos in Grand Canal. And another one that I really like. We're gonna put this here on the side. So you have more of this like dusky greenish gray shade and a gold. And they are gorgeous. Love the formula of these as well. Definitely a repurchase for me. Along with that, I also picked up the Chantecaille Brightening Eye Cajal in Nude. And I use this mostly in the lower lash line, like on the waterline there. And I think it's a very nice product. It's smooth, it's creamy, it doesn't irritate my eyes. I will use it in the inner corner as well sometimes, but I don't see anything like special about this one versus others that I've used in the past. So I like it and whether I'd repurchase it or not, honestly, I don't know. I, I think it's a nice basic, but I don't see anything distinguishing about this one. In September, I purchased a ton of foundations. I've been testing those out. I have individual reviews on all of those so far, and I am working on a big overview of all of those, kind of comparing and contrasting them. That'll be out hopefully in a few days. I've got just a couple more days left that I am just finishing up a little bit of testing with. And I love all of the foundations I purchased. So that's what makes it so hard. So I'll touch on the foundations in the separate video, but I am very happy with all of those. So it's making this very challenging. Another palette I've been very happy with is the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. And I have been using this quite a bit. If you like cooler tone neutral shadows, this is a great palette. It does have some warmer tone neutrals mixed in it as well. And it has a lot of shimmer. So if you don't like shimmer, you probably won't like this palette but I like this. It also has some of the more pinky nudes in there. You've got some grays, some browns, a little bit of gold and bronze. So I think it covers a lot of neutral basics. It comes in this packaging, which I think is nice and sturdy. I've dropped mine without any issues. And I don't really care for the names, the way she named the shadows. They're more like center eyelid, outer eyelid. So they're ideal placements. And you can move the shadows around to your you know, desired placement and so forth. And she does have some recommended reconfigurations online that you can search for, for different like complexion 
shots and so forth. But I personally love the shadows. So this would be a repurchase for me. I also picked up two of the new shades of the Chanel. These are the Ultra Tenue duos. And I have shade Endless Pink and Light Mauve. So Endless Pink is number 174, and this one is a limited edition shade. So if you're interested in this one, don't wait too long. The way these work, you basically put on this colored part first, and this is gonna be like a matte lip product, and then it's gonna kind of dry down. So this is Endless Pink. It'll dry down, get really kind of sticky and uncomfortable. And then the other side here, you've got a clear gloss that you put on top. And I like the shades that I ended up with. And I actually, you know, have been wearing these quite a bit when I don't feel like messing around. I usually wear like four or five lip products a day. So on days when I don't feel like changing so much, I have been wearing these. And they're pretty mask proof. You know, I, I do notice, you know, if you put them on and then you wear a mask for like the next five or six hours or something, you'll be fine with transfer. But as it gets later on in the day, I do end up starting to get some transfer. I know other people have said that they haven't. So it could just be my lips, <laughs> but, or what I've been eating. So I, I do notice though that they stay transfer proof for quite a while. I mean, you can get eight hours or so of wear without any real transfer from these. So they're very nice and I like both of the shades I picked up. They're not my favorite Chanel lip product. I would repurchase these again because I really like these shades and I'd probably pick up a couple more, but these are not a lip product that I want to get all of the shades in. I also picked up the Clay de Peau holiday collection and i didn't pick up the lipsticks but i picked up the eyeshadow palette and it had this beautiful feather on there you can still kind of see some of it and it was started like silver and went to gold these are really soft subtle eyeshadows you're not going to get a ton of color and pigment from them but i do think they look really beautiful on and I have been enjoying them outside of, you know, what I filmed and so forth. So they're definitely, you know, really nice. I'm glad I picked those up. So I would probably repurchase these again, especially because I absolutely love the packaging. So I think, I think they're really nice. And one of the things I like about the Clay de Peau packaging in general is these things are refillable. And, you know, I'm just... This one, it says it's, I'm not sure how to, oh yeah, it just lifts out here. So you can definitely, you know, refill it with another selection of colors from their website at a later date. So it's a repurchase for me. The highlight, I actually have it on today. I've been using this a lot because it gives a really nice subtle highlight and it's a little bit of a cooler tone. So let me show you the highlight here. So I'll put that right here. So it's, it's gonna be more subtle and sophisticated looking, and I have been enjoying it. So these were my first Clay de Peau eyeshadow and highlights, so I don't know how they compare to items from their regular line, but I like these ones that I picked up. I also picked up the Lip Glorifier, and it's this gorgeous berry shade. I absolutely love it. I've been wearing it all the time, so I actually left it downstairs on my desk. <laughs> I also picked up both of the Burberry Essential Glow palettes. So this is 01 in the Fair to Light Medium. And, you know, surprisingly, this dark shade actually works really nicely for a contour. I love these palettes. I also picked up 02, and this is for the medium to dark complexions. And I do think, you know, some of the shades are a little deep for me to use in a traditional fashion, the way they were intended but I still love them. I love the blushes. I think I, I think the highlighters actually work well. They actually look really nice if you put them on and then put the blush on top, and then it just kind of blends in, gives just like a subtle hint. These contour shades are too deep for me to use as contour, but I have used them on the eyes successfully, and I have a video showing that. But if I had to pick one for me with my complexion, I would go with the light one, but I really love the blushes and the other one as well. So happy I have both of them and I would repurchase both. Next up, we have the Charlotte Tilbury Holiday Highlight. This is the Superstar Glow and it's a very nice highlight. It's huge. I actually think it's too big. It is a refillable pan. I don't like the packaging on this. It's kind of like a semi-matte. I just don't like the texture. It feels cheap to me. 
and I'm already getting like wear on here. So you've got the rose gold in the mirror and this is the actual highlight. I'll put this below the clay de po. It's a rose gold and it works on my skin, but it's not my favorite shade. It's a little bit, I don't know, a little bit more rose gold than I'd like. I'd like it subdued a little bit more and it's pretty metallic. So this for me is a pass. I would not repurchase this. As I mentioned, I've been testing a lot of foundations. I tested the new Suku foundation and concealer that came out and at the same time they released some new liquid lipsticks. So I purchased two from the Fog Collection, which are the more matte ones. They're not a, they're like a creamy matte. And then we also have the Glow. And I have been loving these. I'm running out of room, so I'm not gonna swatch all of these, but this here is number 02 in the Fog Collection, and it's a red. And I have been wearing this one a lot. So I just, I think it's really gorgeous. And I, I'm actually very happy with this fog formula, which surprised me. I love the glow formula. It reminds me more of a lip gloss than a lipstick, but the fog reminds me more of a lipstick. So I don't know. I, I like them both. I'm happy to have both. I like the shades I picked up, but the ones that I like the most are actually the reds in both of them, which are both zero two. The zero two in the glow has some gold sparkle in here. And you can see that they are not the same kind of red. This is gonna be a much more neutral red in the glow. And in fog, it's gonna be a cooler tone red. So I have been loving both of these, happy to try more of these. Surat Lash Tint, I love this. It's definitely something that I love to wear like every day. You do need to use an oil-based cleanser to remove, which is kind of a hassle, but I have to say, haven't had any smudging or flaking or anything, even after really long days. And I I really like it. So for me, it would it's a great everyday eyeshadow or eyelash product. And it is something that I plan on repurchasing. The Dior Jungle Eyeshadow Quint. I just recently put up a video with this and I love it. I love the other two that I've been playing with as well. I actually have another one on my lids now, but we'll be putting that up later. This is on my eyes. I have denim. Jungle, I really like. I did have some patchiness from this deep evergreen shade, but not enough to make me not repurchase this palette. So I also have Soft Cashmere and Tutu. I love all of them, and they are all ones that I've been playing with a lot. And last up, we have the Chanel Claire Obscure eyeshadow palette in 308. And this is going to be kind of like warm neutrals and they're all matte. I love them. I think they give a very sophisticated look. This is a palette that I would repurchase. I think it's just a great staple to have on hand, and I, I'm really glad I picked this one up. So that was a busy month of shopping and trying things on, and I actually ended up loving quite a few of those products, most of them. And you know, because I've been testing so many foundations and everything, I've really been rotating those just to Kind of make sure I have firm opinions before I put out my foundation summation. And so I haven't really used too many other ones. Yeah, I've basically just been using that and I've used the Westman Atelier stick foundation a little bit, but that's basically all I've used for foundation recently. For blushes, I've been really comparing a lot the Suku blushes. So I've been playing with the Suku cheek palette quite a bit. And I had that one in my August favorites. So that's this one here. And I've been, I picked up a, another Suku blush, a single in 04. And I've been trying to compare the formulas. So I've been wearing those a lot. And then the Burberry palettes, <laughs> I've been using those a ton. So that's basically all I've used for blush this month is those. Occasionally I've dipped into something else, but that's what I've been favoring. For highlight this month, actually, the one that I've gravitated towards the most is either the Guerlain Meteorites Pearlness Palette, <laughs> no surprise, or I've been reaching a lot for this Chanel Illuminating Powder from last year's holiday collection. This is Metal Peach, and I believe it is still available, at least it is on Chanel's website. I think it is on other retailers as well, but I just really like this one, and it's actually much more subtle than it looks in the swatch 
because it goes on very softly. So it's more of a harder pressed one in the pan, but you can see that it's just gonna be this like peachy golden shade, but it's a little bit more of a champagne -y peach than a cold peach. So I really like it. I think it's very natural looking and I've been pairing that with a lot of, you know, more subdued blush looks and so forth. So that's that one I've been reaching for a lot or I've been mixing the Guerlain ones or using the highlights in the Burberry or Suku palettes because again, I'm testing all those formulas. So those are the ones that I've used a lot this month. Eyeshadow, I've been playing with a ton of different eyeshadow products. So obviously all of the ones that I featured on my channel this month. In addition, I've also been reaching for the other Chrome Lux duos that I have from Chantecai. And that is going to be in Piazza San Marco, which is like the purples and it's like a purple, silvery purple gray. And then we have Tibet, which is more neutral. And I've been using those. I've been also reaching a lot for the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Face and Eye Palette in Moonlit Violet. And then the ones I featured, the Natasha Denona Glam has been one that I've been using a ton and the Dior palettes. So definitely been playing with all of those things. For lip products, I've really been using, you know, a lot of the ones I've already mentioned. Oh, I completely forgot to talk about the Hermes lipsticks. These I picked up this month and I have been enjoying them. I've been wearing them. I actually have Rose Nui on my lips right now. And I like all of the colors. I'm partial more to the uh, ombre, rose ombre and the rose nuit. So this one here is pomette and it's a little bit brighter. I like it, but it's more summery. So I haven't been wearing that one as much, but the other two I've been wearing a ton. So we've got rose nuit and you can see it did get bumpy, which I'm not happy about that, but it doesn't feel bumpy or look chunky on the lips. And then this one here is rose ombre and these I would repurchase yeah, I, I'd probably just repurchase all three of these because I really like the shades. <laughs> so uh, those I like. And, you know, my opinion on the Hermes lipsticks, I think they are great to have a couple of, but I don't plan on purchasing ton, tons of those just because I don't find the formula to be, you know, superior to other brands. And it's really more about the name and the packaging with those. But I love those particular shades, so those would be a repurchase for me, and I do like the packaging on them as well. Now with Hermes lip products, I love the Poppy Lip Shine. That's something I've been using a lot this month. I've also been using the Chanel Rouge Coco Flash and Easy a lot, which is one of the newer uh, Coco Flash uh, colors, and this is in number 116, and it's like a peaky neutral. Let me just show you that real quickly. There you go. That's two layers of it. So I think, you know, that's a great everyday color. And then I have been wearing the Charlotte Tilbury lip gloss, which I also forgot to mention, the Jewel lip gloss and Rose Jewel. Put that on quite a bit. I've been wearing my Sisley lip glosses like all the time. So I usually top whatever lip product I'm wearing with one of the Sisley gloss, Sisley glosses sometime throughout the day. So I've been using all of the colors I have. So there's really no favorite but I have been reaching a lot for number seven, which I think is called uh, Venus, yeah. So Venus is, this is more of their neutral, brownie neutral shade. So I've definitely been loving all of those. That sums up everything from September that I purchased and what my current thoughts are on that, as well as what I have been reaching for. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. We've got a lot of great things coming up in the month of October. So many holiday items coming and I'm hoping to have a few things very soon like the new holiday Tom Ford quad. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope this video was helpful and I will see you next time. Have a great day and stay safe and healthy.